Are you constantly on high alert, even in calm situations? Do you feel like you're just surviving instead of living? What if I told you that the way you were raised could be the reason? Today, we're diving into a topic that many of us struggle to recognize. The signs you were raised in survival mode, not love. Stay tuned, because by the end of this video, you may just uncover truths about yourself that you never even realized. Hey everyone, welcome back to Inner Mind Mysteries where we explore the deeper sides of the mind and life itself. In today's video, we'll be exploring seven signs that you were raised in survival mode instead of a nurturing, love-filled environment. Whether it's hyper-independence or difficulty accepting kindness, these signs can deeply affect how we navigate the world. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell so you never miss out on our deep dives into mental health and personal growth. All right, let's get into it. Seven you're always expecting the worst. If you constantly anticipate the worst case scenario in every situation, this might not just be anxiety, it's a learned defense mechanism. Growing up in survival mode means you've been conditioned to always be prepared for danger. Instead of expecting joy or love, you're bracing yourself for disaster. Six, hyper-independence. You refuse help even when you need it most. In survival mode, dependency feels like a risk. You've learned that relying on others can lead to disappointment or betrayal. While independence is often praised, hyper-independence can become a prison, trapping you in a world where you feel like you must handle everything on your own. 5. You have trouble trusting others. Trust doesn't come easily when you've been raised in survival mode. Whether it's because of past trauma or inconsistent caregiving, trusting someone feels like giving them the power to hurt you. As a result, you keep people at arm's length, never fully letting anyone in. 4. Emotional numbness. People who grew up in survival mode often disconnect from their emotions because feelings were dangerous or unwanted. This numbness can manifest as difficulty expressing how you feel or even recognizing what you feel in the first place. You've learned to survive by shutting down, but the cost is missing out on genuine emotional connections. Three, struggle with self-worth. Survival mode teaches you that your value is based on what you do, not who you are. If you grew up in an environment where love was conditional, you might find it difficult to believe that you're inherently worthy of love. Instead, you might feel like you have to constantly prove yourself to be accepted. 2. Difficulty accepting love and kindness. Love feels foreign, even suspicious. When someone offers you kindness or affection, your first instinct may be to question their motives or push them away. In survival mode, you've been conditioned to be on guard, so receiving love might feel like letting your walls down and that's scary. Number one, you're always in fight or flight mode. The ultimate sign of being raised in survival mode is that you're constantly in a heightened state of alert. Your nervous system has been wired to detect danger at all times. Whether it's real or perceived, you feel like you must always be ready to fight or run. This chronic stress can wreak havoc on both your mental and physical health over time. And there you have it. Seven signs you may have been raised in survival mode, not love. Remember, recognizing these signs is the first step toward healing. If you've related to any of these points, know that change is possible and that there's a path from surviving to thriving. If you found this video insightful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with anyone you think might benefit from this message. Don't forget to subscribe to Inner Mind Mysteries for more deep dives into mental health and self-growth. Thank you for watching and until next time, take care of yourselves.